This is an installation video for Sinister Diesel's turbo coolant feed line for 2011 to 2016 6.7 liter power stroke Ford F250s and F350s. In the box you'll have the turbo coolant feed line, a Sinister Diesel sticker and the required fittings and hose clamp. To begin the installation, start by unbolting the transmission dipstick tube from the oil dipstick tube and remove those from the upper intake. Then we can move on to removing the upper intake bolts. Remove the map sensor from the top of the upper intake and its connection point to the passenger side. Next the retaining bolt for the passenger side coolant hose and heater hose assembly can be removed. I would also recommend removing the heater hose from this metallic tube as this is a good draining point and will not damage any of the heater hoses or plastic tubing. Now we can continue removing the 15 upper intake bolts. Note the different sizes of the bolts, there are two different lengths and later in the video when we reinstall the upper intake we will have a diagram showing the different lengths of bolts and where they go on the intake. With the 15 upper intake bolts removed the intake can come out very carefully and now we have access to the turbo coolant feed line on the driver's side of the turbocharger. Here you can see the fitting and the clip that retains the hose into the fitting. We're going to use picks to remove this clip, but a jiffy tight tool can be used to remove this clip as well. On the opposite end of the turbo coolant feed line, there's a rubber hose with forge style clamps that can be removed and then the factory turbo coolant feed line can be removed from the vehicle. Here's a comparison between the two different turbo coolant feed lines. The sinister one has a threaded fitting on both ends giving a tighter seal. Now we can remove the factory fitting and replace it with the sinister diesel threaded fitting. Once the new Sinister Diesel fitting is tight onto the turbocharger, we can work on installing the new turbo coolant feed line onto the vehicle. I would recommend starting at the turbocharger fitting location and then moving to the rubber hose on the thermostat housing. Please note that this hose clamp needs to be approximately two or three millimeters from the end of the hose to be tight. Here is the finished product. Now we can start the reassembly of the truck by reinstalling the charge air cooler tubing if removed. Removing this charge air cooler piping is optional for better access to the turbo coolant feed line. Once the charge air cooler piping is tight, we can work on replacing and reinstalling the upper intake manifold with the 15 bolts. Reconnect the map sensor and its hold down position on the passenger side and tighten the 15 upper intake manifold bolts. Here's a diagram showing the two different sizes and we can also reinstall the hold down retainer bolt for the heater hose coolant line. Once this installation is complete please fill the vehicle back to factory specifications with the appropriate coolant and bleed the system to get rid of any air. For more information on performance parts, please visit SinisterDiesel.com. 
Thank you very much for watching. See you on the next installation video.